Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm here today to share with you a video tutorial on how to make my scrappy patchwork pillow. I actually shared how to make this scrappy patchwork pillow a few years ago on my blog, but I've been wanting to remake it and film a video to show you kind of my tips and tricks for putting it together. And having our new Seashore Drive fabric collection provided the perfect opportunity for me to make a new version of this pillow. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk about kind of your basics, what you need. You can actually make the center 16 patch and all of the outer little squares just from one mini charm pack. You just need 32 squares of fabric. So it's also super easy to make from your stash. And then uh, you'll need a little, uh, I'm going to call it background fabric on, on this version. It's just a solid color and I've used it twice. So you'll need that and then an outer border and binding. And for this pillow, you, you'll also want a backing. I just did a simple envelope back for this one. We have a tutorial on how to do that. Uh, we also have a tutorial on how to do a zipper in the pillow back. So I will link both of those tutorials for you so you can just decide how you want to do the backing of your pillow. But you're going to start out and you're going to take 16 of your mini charms or from your scraps and you're going to cut one and a half inch squares or if you want to use a charm pack you can cut one and a half inch strips. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, I actually did it that way for mine. I took charm squares and I cut one and a half inch strips. And the reason I did that, and this works, maybe you're using Christmas fabrics and you wanna make several of these for gifts. Then I would suggest going this way and using a charm pack because you can layer up your strip sets. You're gonna sew them together in rows of four. And you're gonna cut one and a half inch I trimmed off the sides. You're gonna cut one and a half inch strips. And you can make three pillows from, uh, if you're using charm pack squares, you can make three pillow centers from 16 charm squares. Okay, and then what you do is you'll just be able to lay them out for your centers. Now, as I mentioned, you can just cut one and a half inch squares if you're just making one pillow. And in that case, I would just suggest the mini charms or from your scraps. But when you sew together uh, those rows, you're gonna end up with your little 16 patch square center. So again, you can make three pillow centers from 16 charm squares if you use that strip piece method. Just wanted to show that because I know the holidays are not too far around the corner and this makes a great gift. Okay, so after you make your little 16 patch center, you will cut two one and a half by four and a half inch side pieces. Now for this one, I'm using Instead of a solid like I used in my first sample, I'm using this fun little low volume print from our Seashore Drive collection that has these little cute cross prints. And then you'll also need two one and a half by six and a half inch uh, top and bottom pieces. So I will go run over to the sewing machine, sew these on and I'll press all of the seams out towards the low volume print. So I'm gonna sew the left and right together first, press out, and then I'll sew the top and bottom and press out. Okay, I'm back from the sewing machine and have added my little inner border sections. I just wanted to show you, uh, I forgot to show you this before, but I did press those, the pieces in the rows alternating directions, but the seams between the rows, I did go ahead and press those open. I didn't show you that earlier. So uh, 
this is my top and uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your squares and really what I did was I laid it all out to begin with just to make sure that I wasn't putting the same larger square next to uh, one of the smaller ones. These mini charm packs often have duplicates so I really suggest laying it out and let's see and so you're going to sew three together to put on each side and you can see what I did was I, I did repeat here but I put them kind of away from each other and the same thing this one's repeated uh, or any of the others yeah these two but I don't have them you know just right next to each other and then what you're also going to do is you're going to sew five for the top and five for the bottom. Okay, and then we're going to add these just like we added this inner border. We're going to sew the left and the right together and then we're going to add the top and the bottom and come out and we're going to then, uh, actually I'll just go ahead and lay this out now because you get the idea. These side pieces for the left and right sides are going to be one and a half by ten and a half and the top and bottom are one and a half by twelve and a half. But I will have this all in a little PDF that you can download for free so you can get all those measurements from that PDF. Okay, so I'm going to go actually do both of these steps before I come back and add the outer border. So left and right and then the top and bottom, left and right, top and bottom. Okay, so I sewed it all together to this point and I decided on the aqua large floral for my outer border. So you're gonna cut two, two and a half inch by 12 and a half inch strips for the left and right sides. And for the top and bottom, two 12 and a half inch by 16 and a half inch. And this will get you a pillow that you can use a 16 inch pillow form for. Now, if you wanted to make it bigger, you um, like for an 18 inch pillow, say, or 20 inch, you can just increase your border sizes. The other thing I thought of as I was getting this ready was it would really make a fun little table topper too. I think if I was going to do a table topper, I might increase these to about three and a half inch cut but uh, possibilities are endless. I'm gonna go sew this together and then just come back for the, for, to wrap everything up. Okay, I'm back from the sewing machine. I've got my pillow top all sewn together. I'm really happy with it. I think I'm going to use the, the gingham print in the uh, pinkish coral for my binding. Uh, I think that'll be a, a really fun accent to this. Uh, you'll notice while I was over there, I also sewed together those other 16 patches. So I'll have them either to make another pillow or for another project. I love having little scrappy blocks like this just in my uh, drawer so I can use them for something else. Now, I think I'm going to quilt this myself. I just wanted to show you. I, I quilted this one myself with this kind of wavy line. And uh, this was kind of an ocean inspired collection and I thought it went really well with that. I might do it a little bit closer together than I did on this one. Have maybe another line in between. But I just wanted to tell you about that stitch. I This is just if you have a Janome. Uh, I just keep this little piece of paper in the drawer in my sewing table. And this is how to get this wavy stitch length on the Janome. It's the number nine stitch and I set the, set the stitch width button to five and the stitch length to four. And that just kind of gives you that really wavy, fun zigzag. So I will layer this with a piece of batting and a, and, a, and a piece of muslin, and I will quilt that and I'll put it together. Uh, I will get a picture taken of this and pop it up into the video so that you can see both of the completed pillows. And I hope you'll enjoy making this. As I mentioned before, it would also make a fun table topper. And you could even uh, turn this into a quilt too. Uh, just make a whole bunch of blocks and put them together. 
Okay, so that's it for today's patchwork pillow tutorial. Make it as scrappy as you want. Make it in whatever fabrics you have on hand. It is great for holidays. It would be really fun in fall, in patriotic, 4th of July, in Christmas, uh, spring, uh, whatever you want to make. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you'll share the video with a friend. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the like button. Thanks so much for stopping by.